What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole.Young and welcome back to my channel, the best place for anyone who wants to get into tech, learn how to code or earn more freedom through freelancing. So today, I thought it would be a good idea to share some of my top recommended resources for anyone who is looking to learn coding this year. I have gone through tons of online resources while I was teaching myself how to code, and there are some really great things out there, but there are also some really bad ones. So I thought I would compile a list of my top seven, my favorite ones. So whether you are someone who's looking to learn for free or looking to invest a little into your resources this year, I got just the list for you. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to start right off with a couple of the free resources that I really loved taking over the last couple of years. The first is Code Academy. I know I've mentioned this in a lot of other videos, but Code Academy is a great place to start if you are starting from the complete beginning. Anyone that comes to me and says, I wanna learn how to code, but I don't know where to start, I send them right to Code Academy because it's a really quick and easy way for you to start getting your feet wet with things like HTML, CSS, and the basics of programming. They have really great resources. I think the visuals make it a little more interesting to learn. The next place is Free Code Camp. This is another one that I'm always sending to beginners. I think that it's a great place to start. I do think that the courses can be a little dry. It's very text heavy, but if you can get past that, you're going to learn a lot. And they have built-in exercises where you can be practicing and learning as you go through the lessons, which I think is really good. Next is edX. edX is a website that allows you to basically sign up for college courses. Um, most of them are the 101 or 100 level courses, the beginning level courses, but they have courses from Harvard and Yale and tons of other Ivy League schools that are on all things in topics like computer science, data analytics, artificial intelligence, you name it in the tech realm, you may be able to find a course on it on edX. And I think that's really great. They are a little bit time consuming. Um, some courses are 12 weeks long because they are structured like a regular semester. But I think, you know, with the way things are going, like might as well invest some of your time into it. Another free resource is one that is a little unconventional, I will admit, but one that has really helped me to learn some fundamental programming principles before jumping into bootcamp, and that is bootcamp pre-coursework. So a lot of online bootcamps have a pre-course, is usually what it's called, that you can take before entering bootcamp. And the point of it usually is to test your knowledge and to kind of assess where you are. Most boot camps do require that you are, that you go through it and complete an assessment or complete the practice problems that they have before they just admit you. And I've taken a couple from different boot camps. The two that I recommend personally are the Lambda School pre-coursework for their full stack development program and also full stack academy. I learned so much about core foundational programming principles, things like, you know, setting up functions, learning about loops, like all of the foundational knowledge in JavaScript, like you'll be able to learn a lot from them and it's completely free. There's no commitment to joining that bootcamp after you finish the coursework or while you're taking it. So you can just get your feet wet with those courses to see if it's something you like. Now for my top paid resources. Now these, are, like I said, are all ones that I've used in the past and ones that I will continue to recommend to people who are willing um, and able to invest into their knowledge, which I think of, we all get there eventually where we realize that to go to the next level, we have to actually start investing some type of money. Um, and I think it's great to bet on yourself. Go ahead and do it if you are there. The first that I wanna recommend is Team Treehouse. This was probably the first paid resource that I had access to. I didn't personally have to pay for it because the job that I was working at was paying for a subscription for the company. But when I tell you I learned so much going through the lessons on Team Treehouse, 
I really enjoyed the lessons and the instructors on Team Treehouse. They are very thorough, which is something a type A person like me can really appreciate because they do not glaze over any of the details. You're really going to come out of any program that they have, having a very deep understanding and knowledge of whatever concept you were learning. The next is Skillshare. And I know that Skillshare has tons of lessons on so many different things, but I highly recommend it. I think for the last three to four years, I've kept a subscription to Skillshare just because there are so many courses on there that can be so valuable to you at every step of your journey. So when I was learning how to code there were so many lessons on there that I took but it was also super crucial for my freelancing journey because as I needed to learn new skills to become a better freelancer I had access to tons of courses in marketing and business and all sorts of things and even my personal web development skills like I was able to learn uh, so many skills that were valuable to me as a freelancer. So I highly recommend it. It, I believe the subscription's like $100 for the whole year and you can try it for free. So just give it a try. I will leave a link down in my description so that if you wanna give it a try for like, I think it's a free month or two, definitely do that. Next is Udemy. Udemy is more of a marketplace where you can find courses on different topics, but I definitely would recommend it to someone who is looking to start investing in your learning as you are building coding skills. I love Udemy because there's no huge commitment um, buying tons of things and there's usually a good sale going on on the platforms. So you can get courses for as much as 90% off of the retail value of them if you find them at a good time. I don't think I've ever paid more than $10 for a course on Udemy. Some that I haven't even taken yet but just found good deals on them. And they are courses that um, particularly are going to help build projects um, and that's something that I would highly recommend. If you're going to get courses on Udemy, make sure you read the reviews first. Make sure that they are emphasizing that you will leave that course with a project or two and also make sure you never buy until there is a sale because there is always a sale going on throughout the year. Last but certainly not least is Skill Crush. I think Skill Crush might be my favorite investment that I've made in all of my coding journey so far uh, in terms of the courses I've paid for out of pocket. And it's just because I really think that Skill Crush is the holy grail of courses for people who are like me making a mid-career shift into tech. The courses are broken down into bite-sized chunks. So if you are someone that is busy, you're still working a nine to five, maybe you're a parent or you know you are doing so many other things, like we all have so many other responsibilities. This makes it easy so that you can break it up into small chunks, whether it be an hour a day or maybe a little more, and you can get through a lot of content and learn a lot while you do. I love that they have projects for every single course and lesson that you take. So it's not like you're just sitting there and watching someone lecture you. They are actually only telling you what you need to know to complete the project that they give you, which I think is awesome. You're not getting a ton of overwhelming information that really doesn't serve you. You're only given what you need to start building the skills that you need to break into tech. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any others. And until next time guys, know that I love you, I am rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.